Uh, my name is Edoy Antiso. I'm a field director of a documentary in competition here in uh, Montpellier, the Festival de Montpellier. Uh, the name of the film is Picnic. I'm uh, from Spain and I'm uh, 33 years old. Um, I've seen you have been to school in Cuba. In Cuba, uh -huh. Yeah, can you tell me about your tra training there? Uh -huh, okay. How, how was it for school? Uh, Big Nick is my, is my first film out of the school. I studied at, uh, at the International Film School in Cuba, San, uh, the School of San Antonio de los Baños. And uh, I'm very happy to to have the studies there because it's, uh, I think it's a very uh, special school, not only because of the uh, teachers and the uh, classes we have there, but also because of the, um, of the uh, international uh, atmosphere that, that you have in the school with the students for, from very different countries in, uh, in the world, all over the world, but basically from Latin America. So I think it's a very important experience for uh, it was a very important experience for me because of, the, uh, of what, I, what I learned not only about cinema but also about uh, other social and political things in, uh, in the whole world and especially in Latin America. Are you going to do some fiction later? Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe in, a, in a few years. Yeah. I'm at the beginning. Uh, at the beginning, I was quite convinced that, uh, that my uh, field was only uh, documentary. That I was going to make documentaries for my whole life. But then, uh, I think little by li little, you you uh, uh, you break the barriers, you you break the uh, the walls you you have, you know, and, uh, about about uh, genres, about your own uh, limitations, you know, as a filmmaker. So. At the beginning, I was very like like a fiction uh, in one side and documentary on, on, on the other side, and I, I'm I'm on this side. No, I only make documentaries. But right now, my uh, my projects are like a mix of both things. So so little by little, I know I can tell you, I can tell the I cannot tell the, the difference. So for instance, the uh, the project I'm I'm uh, preparing right now. It's like a, it's a mix of documentary and fiction. So, so I'm now I'm interested in both things. So, yeah. and what what are your subjects in general? Are you interested in mm. few special things or depends? No, no, I don't. I know for many for many directors or writers or whatever uh, they they have like a uh, subject that they always talk about this for me it's more like a, I like I like cinema for instance the the, the film we have here in competition uh, we didn't uh, we didn't choose this uh, subject or this place because we were especially interested in on that place is that because it was the opportunity to make a film so for me it's more important to uh, the film, the uh, how, say, how to say, like uh, the artistic, the film, the artistic film uh, thing inside of the project, not 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 the subject. You know, uh, for instance, now the subject is very different in my next film. The important thing for me in a film is uh, the uh, the way the film looks uh, reality. And it's not so important. Uh, less, uh, it's not so important the, the subject, what the film is about. I think we we always talk uh, when we describe a film, when we try to explain a film to a friend. We always say this film is about blah blah blah, no? And 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 I more and more need the, the explanation of this film is like or it's made like da, 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 da. Mm. so for me it's more important how the film is, how is, the film is made. made I mean how the director or the, the creator of the film looks around than uh, what the film is about I, I, I don't really care anymore the if the film the, the point of view of the, of the filmmaker right. I think is the most important um, so if you have to describe in few sentences the 
to film that that is here in the competition. What would mm -hmm. you say? So, a uh, picnic is a film about vacation, uh, about vacation on the beach. Uh, all the film happens in a very, very small part of a very, a very popular beach in Spain, which is like a, like a working class beach destination in Spain, very popular. It's called uh, Benidorm. And Benidorm, many people know because it's very international that place. So, um, so all the film uh, happens in a very, very small place, and uh, and there. Um, we follow some characters along uh, along their vacation, like for more or less one month, and we uh, we stay with them uh, day by day and see uh, how they uh, supposedly they are happy with uh, their vacation, you know. And um, it's a very observational film, uh, a kind of wire, a little bit wire film, uh, like and it's like. The idea was to to have the to have the um, the feeling that that you are or that you are actually on the beach when you are watching the film. Uh, what else? Uh, on a shooting, do you uh -huh. how many people come with you? <laughs> Uh, well, it depends on the situation, but uh, most of the times, because we don't have a lot of money, and uh, because I uh, believe in uh, small crews, small uh, groups, uh, usually we are three, four people when I uh, when I film. In the film here in Montpellier, we were just four people, what was, which was uh, one cameraman, one soundman, and then I was like with a second camera because um, we we shoot many dialogue. lot of lot of dialogue scenes with two cameras mm -hmm. and then uh, one person for production you know like help mm -hmm. with production and things yeah. so always a uh, very small crew which makes you uh, possible to disappear in the in the in the place you are filming yeah i mean uh, and uh, and when people see a picnic, they are really, uh, they are really, um, how do you say, they are very surprised about about the camera being in, in, invisible, about the crew, the filming crew. Mm. It, it sometimes in some scenes, uh, in some scenes, it's like it's like the like the camera and the and, uh, and the sound and the director. They're not they are not there. It's like the like uh, an invisible camera, mm -hmm. and this is only possible with uh, small well, with small crew. Do you do you do you write a script before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I think with documentary or the kind of documentary I usually like. Uh, I think screen the script is only uh, help, helpful to to have something you can uh, you can uh, you can you, you can show and you can uh, to find some help from the yeah also or? with for a pro, for production but on, also when you are going to film I think it's good that you have something in mind but only. Uh, to change most of the times, you know. So yeah, starting, usually when you, starting point. Uh, yeah, like a starting point. If you know what's going to happen, or if you know what you would like to happen, then probably when something better uh, arises, you can you can see it very clear. But if you have no clue what's going to happen, maybe you then you are not able to to see what are good things for your film and which are not so good. So I think a script is good for that, but not like uh, I have this script and then I have to shoot and I have to, I have to follow this, you know. It's just something like you, uh, after you, you, you're apart, you know.